Hi, this is Sweet June 2010. How's everybody doing? Been having some problems with my knees and it seemed to be getting worse. So I'm just having issues with that, just struggling with that. Just um, trying to get through that the best way I can and everything. You guys pray for me. Um, I want to talk about um, um, does a, does an employer have the right to confiscate your cell phone while you're on the clock? Like after you punch in, uh, can an employer take your phone while you're working? Because once now you got to realize now, once you punch that time clock, you're on their time. Once you punch your t the time clock. You're no longer on your time. You're on their time. So, um, reason why I'm doing this video, I wanted to get. I think it's good information because just recently, a week as of a week ago, um, my employer um, they got a new rule. Um, that when once we punch in that we have to give them our phone and they lock it up in the file cabinet uh, we're not allowed to have our phones on us um, anymore um, as I stated in um, I think I've stated before on some of my other videos I just don't talk about my job a lot I work in child care I work at a daycare center and um, they was apparently having issues um, with um, employees uh, being on the phone um, now uh, we're working with children so um, it is a no-brainer I mean when you, it's a no-brainer when you think about it when you're working with children then um, uh, you should obviously be watching the children instead of you should not be on your phone and so um, they was having issues with people using their phone while they was on the clock um, on my job we are required to um, have a bird's eye they say we're required to have a bird what they call a bird's eye view of the children at all times we're supposed to um, have a bird's eye view of the children at all times in other words um, when they mean by bird's eye view is that we're supposed to be um, we're in the classroom we're supposed to be looking around the room we're supposed to be having scanning the room at all times making sure that the children stay safe uh, we're not only um, we have a responsibility of keeping the children safe um, to keep them from hurting each other and keep them from having any kind of types of injuries like falling or whatever hitting their heads so we have that we have a moral and ethical responsibility to make sure the children uh, remain safe um, now we have some very very strict laws regarding the care of children and um, people don't play when it comes to kids <laughs> bottom line the parents don't play when it comes to their kids children and the law doesn't play when it comes to kids um, you could be caught up in some serious liability issues if a child is seriously injured in your care if your caregiver um, your child care provider and the child becomes seriously injured while in your care um, it, it can become a major liability I mean you know you could be found negligent so it's a serious issue so my employer felt that um, um, there was too many people that um, was using their phones while they were working and so they were supposed to be supervising the children so they she adopted a new policy that um, um, they she called it a, a, a no cell phone no cell phone zone so which means that when we come in um, as soon as we clock in we have to give our phone and uh, or we have to either give it to them or we have to leave our phone at home or we can leave it in the car and um, I don't want to leave this like summertime and it's really hot outside and I don't want to leave my phone in the car because I'm afraid that it's it's um that's going to damage my phone 
So um, I just decided to come in and um, just give over, hand over my phone and just let them lock it up. Um, in a sense, um, you know, I Googled it. What I did was I Googled it and um, um, I read some information on Google about it. And sure enough, it is a, a, an employer can legally confiscate your phone while you are on the clock. Because once you punch that time clock, you are on their time. You're no longer on your time. You're on their time. And so, especially when you're dealing with an at-will employer, a lot of people don't understand uh, an at-will employer. At-will employer, um, they have a little bit more rights than um, when you're under a, when you're like under what like a union shop or something like that. Um, um, they can do a little bit more because. Um, at will employer can they can get rid of you and they don't have to tell you why they're getting rid of you um, um, they can um, people think that they got more rights on the on the job than they people think that they have more rights than what they really have on the job um, people think they you know they you don't have a freedom of speech on the job you can't say what you want to say people think they do but you really don't because like you're like I say you punch the time clock you're on their time so uh, they don't want you running your mouth. They want you working. <laughs> so people think that they have, in reality, people think that they have more rights than what they really have. And really, when it comes down to it, you really don't have a lot of rights on, in the workplace. I mean, you have the right to do your job. <laughs> That's about it. You have the right to do your job. Um, <laughs> you do have the right to do that. But, I mean, and, and you have a right to, because um, according to OSHA, um, you have the right to, to work in a safe environment and your employer has to provide you with a safe working environment free of hazards and all that kind of stuff. So that's your right there. Um, you have the right to be treated fairly, um, not be discriminated against because of your race, religion, uh, handicap, marital status, and age, and yada yada, so on and so forth. Um, but sometimes, you know, that happens, but, you know, there's laws to protect you. You also have the right against re re retaliation um, on the job. Um, like somebody, if they, somebody gets mad at you, they can't try to um, get you fired because they get pissed off at you or whatever. Or your employer, you know, you know, that's actually, it's a little bit, that discrimination and that is very hard to prove. But um, you do, they do have anti-retaliation laws right now, so you do have the right against uh, retaliation in some sort of fashion. Um, but um, as far as, um, I did a Google search on it, and yes, an employer can take your phone. They can confiscate your phone while you are on the clock. Um, this is the first job I've had that I've actually got my phone taken away. Um, my last job, I worked at an assisted living and um, I worked nights, and so we were able to have our phones on us um, uh, because um, it, we uh, we had a lot of downtime. Um, the, the only thing we were required to do were was um, do the residents' laundry and answer call lights and do um, hourly checks. Other than that, we had a lot of downtime. Other than doing those things, we had a lot of downtime, so we was able to use our phone. Um, and the management had no problem with that as long as we got our work done. Um, and it was uh, had a lot to do with the shift that I was on. I was on third shift. Um, when I worked in retail, I worked in retail before that. And, you know, we couldn't have our phone on us while we were at our station. You know, we couldn't have our phone on us. We had to keep it in, in our locker, in our purse. But the employer didn't actually confiscate the phone. Uh, this is the first job I've had where I've actually had my phone confiscated upon punching in. Um, so this is a little new to me. It's a little new to everybody on, on my job. I mean, you know, people are frustrated. Um, um, but, you know, um, I'm hoping that nobody, I'm getting ready to say something, and I'm hoping that nobody from my job sees this video, to be honest. But um, I, in a sense, I can understand why my employer is doing this because um, this is a child care this is a daycare center and like I said people don't play when it comes to their kids the law doesn't play when it comes to children and you know um, 
I can understand why she did it because, you know, it, it's it, looking at it from a legal standpoint. I mean, it's a major liability if someone is being caught on the phone. If someone is talking on the phone while they should be watching the children and a child had a serious accident, um, the child got injured um, or, or more than one child got seriously injured and you and the employees were talking on the phone while this happened, then it could, it could uh, you can you can literally uh, be held you can um, be uh, brought up on negligent charges. Um, it's not, when you're dealing with children, it's not just about child abuse, but it's about negligence as well. And um, you can you can be brought up on on this um, negligent being negligent being ne negligent means being neglectful and not supervising the children like you should be you know being the so distracted to the point to where you're not supervising the children like um, you should so um, we got some very strict laws regarding children um, in this country um, 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 and so they should be I guess you know because um, children they're innocent they don't have the ability um, to protect themselves um, they don't understand when they're under the age of five they don't understand danger um, um, you know they don't understand you know the concept of danger they don't have a very um, high concept of fear and so um, it's just that is that's, I think is a very dangerous time in a child's life from birth to age five is a very dangerous child time in a child's life because they because they have no concept of fear um, they don't and, and no concept of danger they don't understand how much danger they can actually be in so is 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 the adults responsibility around that child to wash over that child protect that child and and, and make sure that child is not in harm's way and so uh, us as um, child care providers it is our responsibility to um, maintain a bird's eye view wash the children at all times and making sure that they don't injure themselves number one and making sure that they don't um, injure themselves in any other way like hitting their head or or whatever um, so on and so forth so in a sense I can understand why my employer did this because if something was to happen like a, a child was to have a major accident and and if the employee was talking on the phone while it happened then it could fall back on her as a director it could fall back on her and they can even close the daycare center behind that if it's if it's serious enough the daycare center can be closed depending on the severity of the situation so it's it is, it's a serious issue and um you know um i think it's in my opinion it's a it's a no-brainer <laughs> you shouldn't be talking on the phone while you're watching the kids it's just, it's plain and simple I mean, it's a no-brainer, but um, common sense is not so common. Uh, you know, uh, you'd be surprised um, who who who's doing that, um, those things. So, you know, um, they they felt they felt um, that um, it was people that was um, um, using their phones while they should have been watching the kids, and there was too many people that was on their phones, and you know, and everything. Um, when um, at first they said that they didn't want people on their phone at first they said that each individual classroom um, can have a cell phone policy and to implement a cell phone policy for each individual classroom um, I guess apparently the management felt that that didn't work uh, that wasn't working they felt like that it was still people that was on the phone and everything like that and so that's why they made the decision that's why they made this decision to confiscate the phones um and um in a sense i can't understand looking at it from a business perspective looking at it from a liability perspective i could understand why they did it you know because if i owned if i was a director of the daycare i probably would have done the same thing because like i say you just i mean people don't come play when it comes to children i mean the laws don't play when it comes to children parents don't play when it comes to children um so um if I had a child, I certainly wouldn't want someone, and I put my child in the daycare, I certainly wouldn't want someone talking on the phone while they should be watching my child, you know. So it, it is, I can definitely understand why it was done. Um, it is what it is, you know. I um, come in to work, I turn in my phone. They gave us three options. They say either turn your phone to management or leave your phone in the car 
or leave it at home. I don't want to leave it in my car because right now it's hot outside and I don't, I think it'll get damaged, you know, if it gets on a really hot day. Um, leaving it at home is not an option for me because I drive a hoopty. <laughs> And if my car breaks down or whatever like that while I'm at work, I mean, a couple of times I went out in the parking lot and couldn't start my car. So um, I need to be able to make a phone call or whatever like that to get help. So, you know, whatever like that. So um, and sometimes I like to go other places after I leave work. So um, keeping my phone at home is not an option. So I just need my personally, I bring my phone in and I turn it off and hand it over. You know, it is what it is. So, um, but I, I, I did a Google search and I just wanted to give you guys that information that yes, that, uh, it is legal for an employer to confiscate your phone while you are on the clock. I mean, like I say, once you punch in, punch that time clock, you're no longer on their, your time. You're on their time because you're on their time. Then they can, they have the right to say, well, you don't have to have your you don't need to have your phone while you're on my time you're on my time so you don't need to have a phone so this goes back to what I was saying in my employment self-employment rants that um, you know if you want to have your phone you want to talk on the phone and, and have some of those freedoms then it needs to start your own business you don't have to worry about nobody taking your phone and telling you what to do but um, but that's it is what it is you know um, I guess I don't know how many employers are doing this this is the first employer that I've ever worked for that has ever did it so um, yeah I did a Google search and yes it is legally can they can do it and it's particularly an at-will employer an at-will employer can do that they can require you to give your phone um, you know um, like I said people think they have more rights on the job than what they actually have and really on the job you really don't have as many rights as you think you have and so legally they can do it okay I just wanted to give you guys that information good great some more great videos coming up stay tuned subscribe this is Sweet June 2010